Hello, this is Julius from Basic Financials. Um, I'm going to do a little video today just to try and um, potentially make you feel a little bit better if you've been looking at your pension fund and thinking, oh my goodness, what's happened there? Um, now, obviously, with the uh, coronavirus, uh, things have taken a bit of a hit at the moment. We hope that things obviously will pick up again. Um, the first thing I'm going to say, there's, I've done a video in the past about uh, things that you might consider about when you when retiring early. Um, there was some movement out there uh, for retiring early and what you might need to do. And uh, one of the things, well, the, the main thing was to, to try and reduce your expenditure um, and then to try and think, well, how much you're going to need. Uh, and then basically you need to try and save for example, 25 times that amount. Now that 25 times assumes that um, the inter that your interest or growth in your fund, once you've got to that level, is going to be at 4%, that's 25 times, and 25 times four is 100, so that would be 100%. So if you, so for example, if you needed 10,000 um, pounds, if you multiply that by 25, you need a fund of 250,000 pounds, to give you £10,000 a year, assuming that the interest rate is going to be um, 4%. Now, so given that, if you're looking at your pension fund and you're thinking um, you've got, let's say you've got had a pension fund that was worth £400,000, and now you think, oh my goodness, it's worth £300,000. So but if, if you think that that loss... A hundred thousand pounds that is feels massive doesn't it well another way of thinking about it is if if your income is if you're expect hoping to save up so your income is let's say twenty thousand pounds just to make the figures right um if, and then your fund drops by a quarter in value that big that drop in a quarter it looks huge but if you think on an annual basis, instead of twenty thousand pounds a year, I know that twenty thousand pounds doesn't equate to the um, to the two hundred to the four hundred thousand fund, but um, let's just assume the, for, to make the figures easier. Um, if you, if you think that your income was going to be twenty thousand, if your fund drops by a quarter, then actually your income needs to drop to fifteen thousand pounds to to be able to sustain it and hopefully things will improve and grow back again and once once the fund improves again then then you would be able to in, adjust your income up again so if you try and think about that loss or the the current loss as as a loss annual loss so rather than rather than the big 100,000 pound drop you're thinking from 20,000 down to 15,000 that seems more manageable um, so anyway, I hope that just might help to make things feel a little bit better than they might otherwise do. And remember, you know, over time, things might improve. Um, now, obviously, sometimes you might not have that amount of time because you might need your money now. But if you're going to do that, you're just going to need to adjust what you were going to take out each year. You don't have to have a massive, massive shortfall. It's just... You know, if you've lost 50% on your fund, then you'd have to reduce your income by 50%. That's tough, but it's manageable, hopefully. Um, the other thing that people might think is they might start to think, oh, we know now why people said um, you should convert to cash funds rather than away from the stock market um, as you approach retirement because things are safer. Well, that used to be fine. And that used to be the way things happened when you had to buy an annuity. Because as you approached retirement, um, if once you, when you wanted your money, you couldn't do this, have the flexibility you have now. You had to buy an annuity with your money, which is basically you're buying a, 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 an income for life. And if you couldn't, if you had to do that, you you can't afford to have a sudden drop because you've that hundred thousand pound loss that we were just talking about. That you've actually lost that, you aren't going to get that back. What well, the way things happen now is you quite often go into what's called drawdown on a pension. So your fund stays there and you draw from the fund. You don't have to do that, but that's one way of doing it. Um, so if your fund is still there and you're drawing on the fund, you've still got the potential to 
for growth. So you still want to be in the stock market, really. You don't want to be putting everything in cash. Otherwise, you're making your your growth potential growth rate much smaller. Um, okay, it's safer. You might you won't have the big losses that you have. But then remember, over the last ten years, um, stock markets and pension funds will have grown by more than they've just suddenly dropped and we're expecting or well, you would hope that there'd be a recovery from this coronavirus anyway that's probably enough to be getting on with uh, the idea is just to give you another way of thinking about things so it doesn't feel quite so bad as when you look at the big numbers um yeah thanks for listening please like and subscribe as usual and i'll see you another for another video soon bye